Hello everybody, welcome to this devlog for Buggos. It's been a while since I've done one of these. God, if you look at the last one, the Buggos look completely different. Um, there's like a devlog one somewhere. Anywho, I thought it'd be good to kind of talk about where I would like to go with Buggos and to sort of go over some of the community feedback um, and just general stuff like that. So if you have any questions maybe for the next one, please let me know with some uh, comments in the Discord or some comments down in the video itself. All right, let's get started. So Buggos right now is in a, a pretty good state. I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. Let me just get the editor running here. And you can see that we've got the new survival mode that just came in. It's pretty nifty, needs a little tuning, but uh, we'll get around to that soon. And we've also got the normal game uh, that you're all used to probably by this point. Um, and it's it's actually running in a pretty fine state. I think the balance is pretty good, um, especially even towards the impossible difficulty. There's been a lot of tuning to get the boom slugs to be in the right spot. There's some decent tuning to get the spore launchers in a good spot, though I think I need to nerf them just a touch still, as they're, they're quite strong. Um, if we take a look at the evolution tree, Everything's obviously uh, in here. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I would love to have about 20 more evolutions in here. Uh, that would be my goal. So I'll probably end up looking at some of the feedback, looking at balancing some of the bugs, and adding some more evolutions around that to sort of help expand the space a little bit. In fact, let me bring up a neat little Reddit post. And here we go, I brought it up. Uh, one of the users who uh, is in the Discord as well as on the Reddit made this fantastic graphical diagram of what all of the evolutions do and sort of what bugs they're related to. And it shows some interesting points that I hadn't really considered particularly well, is that some of these bugs might need some flushing out. So you can see overall in this sort of blue cyan color, we've got bug related upgrades, revolutions that affect uh, everybody, right? It's not bug specific. I know, no, like example like this is Defender. The Defender here has the one Defender upgrade and has four additional upgrades that make it more Defendery. And then the Builders have its one upgrade and 18 different upgrades to make the Builders more Buildery. This one's kind of um, interesting because it's not just the Builders, it's also all the buildings as well. So it's kind of got a a false sense of, uh, of weight to it, but it's still there. Um, this is interesting because you can see the Boom Slug has six, the uh, Swarm Mother has six upgrades, but the, the poor Warrior has no Warrior specific upgrades besides these three. And again, the Defender looks like it's a bit light. So if I'm going to add some more evolution points in, I'll probably be targeting these two. Again, I love this graphic. Trying to display your information graphically, always very good. Humans are graphical creatures. We love this kind of shit. So well done. Bonus points for that. Oh, also, I think I will point out the the Reddit here. There's only like three members on here, so if you're if you're interested, this is a great way to um, sort of put your messages up to to help me get ideas about what you want changed. Uh, I I'm a Reddit person myself. You can see this is me here, and uh, I will check this. I'm currently the only mod on here. If you're interested in being a mod, I don't want to do this per se. I would love if somebody else would moderate this subreddit for me. Um, so let me know in the Discord or on here if that's something you're interested in. But anywho, um, Sushi, uh, Sushi Mus has some really good feedback in here. Again, visual, really enjoy it. I'm going to take some more time to think about all this, and I've read it all, and see if I can incorporate this in some of the upgrades. There's been a number of uh, feedback given to us, number of feedbacks. Oh, look at all these errors. Go away, bad errors. Here, let's make the screen a little bit bigger. There's been an amount of feedback given in the Discord about various quality of life things that people would enjoy, various upgrades. Um... One of the interesting ones is people would like to be able to go back to conquer areas they've already conquered just to really crush the humans. I get that. I understand that. I'll see if I can make that happen. Let's take a moment to look at and talk about the Discord itself. Um, so far, we have quite a number of people in here. It's, uh, it's very impressive. And a lot of good um, chatter going on with what people want. Uh, but specifically, we just done this poll here where I was interested in seeing what the people were interested in having me work on next. So it looks like a good chunk of people want me to work on some bug fixes. Some people want performance, adding the feature request, which we'll go over soon. And then, um, what is this? A level editor, as promised. I do plan to have that come out. And another DLC campaign that I have planned to come out. Um, currently in the timeline, something fell down in my kitchen. I'll be back. I don't know what that noise was, but we'll just hope it's not ghosts. Um, all right, so... Currently in the timeline, I've got the level editor plan to come out next, and then hopefully to integrate some Steam Workshop uh, goodness, so that way you guys can play each other's levels and what have you. Um, I was also planning to add some more survival levels before then, so that way there's a little bit more playability. Some one entrance maps, a, a one entrance map, a two entrance map, a three entrance map, and we already have a four entrance map. And maybe some uh, variety with the terrain. 
it would be really cool to have a randomly generated level, but that's a bit tough. And then afterwards, probably work on a, a new DLC campaign. So that'd be version 1.1 we're currently on, which was the survival uh, mode, and then additionally the level editor. And then version 1.2, we'll probably do a DLC campaign. So talking about bugs. So I try my best to work on bugs and bug fixing. I try to prioritize it. Um, you may notice if you had some bug reports in here, they get deleted. I delete things as I, I fix them or as if they're not bugs. So if a, if a not bug comes into the bug channel, I'll delete it. Um, and as I fix it, I'll delete it. If we look at the feedbacks and requests, there are a lot of them. A lot of people want a lot of things. And obviously I can't do everything. And obviously there's going to be things I disagree with from a creative standpoint. So please send in your feedback and uh, your requests. The more people say something, the more likely I am to do it. I'm a believer that if you follow what the customer wants in general, you'll have a better product. You just have to tune that with a little bit of your sort of like industry experience and a little bit with your creative design work. And then theoretically you'll have a better product in the end. So that's that's always my goal. If you guys have a lot of good feedback, please put it in here and we'll try to get it in. Sorry, here's the actual feedback channel. The other one was for the beta. This thing goes on and on and on and on and on. A lot of feedback, a lot of good stuff. And I try to look at the Steam discussion page fairly often and uh, take a look at what the people are saying here. If there's any feedback, I generally pop into the Discord. So you'll see that occasionally. And if somebody wanted to write up some guides for the game, that would be totally sick. Uh, there's a lot of people who always have questions about how to play and they get stuck on certain stuff. So if you have any tips, uh, write up a guide. That'd be nifty. Some common feedback requests I get a lot. Um, and so I might as well answer them here. A lot of people want to know if we're going to add multiplayer into the game. And by we, it's the royal we. It's just I. Um, Probably not. Uh, multiplayer is very difficult to get working, and it takes a lot of dev time. It's It makes the process of programming about 10 times more difficult because the bugs are harder to reproduce and they take longer to encounter. And I've already got enough bugs and enough work to do anyways. So, sorry Mr. Muffin Man, probably no multiplayer. Oh, the, another fun... Another common feature request that comes up is, will I be able to play as the humans at any point? Solid may be. Obviously all of the uh, the units are there that the humans could be used for. There's no tech tree set up for them, so that would be, um, you know, I'd have to make another tech tree, another like 70 different upgrades uh, if we were gonna do something like that. So it would be a lot of work to be able to play as the humans, but maybe it would be something down the road. It would be far down the road, so don't expect it anytime soon. More bug types. Uh, a good question that many people ask is, will there be more bugs added to the game? Yes, I do plan to add more bugs. It'd probably be part of the new DLC. That will come out sometime later in the future. Uh, I would expect that there would probably be like three more bugs and like three more humans in that DLC, as well as um, at least three new areas to conquer or a new planet, um, up to six. So I'll try to make it a nice little beefy thing, but it does take quite a bit of time to make the maps and to balance everything and to test it. And obviously to do all the drawing and the making of all the things. Oh, that might be interesting. So if you're ever curious how uh, the, the pudding is made in the kitchen, uh, this is this is it. So. I build everything inside a sprite. It is a nice little sprite editor that allows you to create and to manage and to, I don't know, make sprites and to do animations with them. It's a very good tool, highly recommended. And here, look, here's a little, little Defender Bugs wobble. He's cool. He should probably actually bounce up and down a little bit. He was one of the, the earlier bugs that I had finished in the game, so he's not quite as wobbly as the other bugs. But as you can see, it does take a little bit of time. You have to animate each of these. I've got them on two separate layers. We got the primal bug layer, the primary bug layer, and we got the leg layer. And that's usually how I make a lot of things. Uh, the bugs aren't necessarily as complicated as the humans are. So if we take a look at the commando here, there's a lot more detail going on. Um, the walk cycle is a lot longer. So the bugs have like a four to five. Uh, this guy has an, you know, an eight frame walk cycle. And though it doesn't sound like a lot, you know, trying to draw these all out uh, by hand is kind of tough. I'm not an artist first. I'm a programmer first with some vague art skills, so. It takes me a little longer than it might someone who is a professional working in pixel art. Looking here at the store page, um, I need to give this thing just a little bit more of an update treatment. Obviously, this still has some graphics from when like the goo had an outline and some of the other stuff wasn't quite tuned up. But overall, very happy. Our review scores have been fantastic. And thank you so much for all the positive feedback. And thank you for the negative feedback, too. If you're not enjoying it, you know, that's totally fine. Um, if you haven't written a review, please do. Positive or negative, it's always nice to, to know what the people think. But overall, we've, we've done pretty well. I'm very pleased, very positive. 91% of people have enjoyed the game out of 161 users. That's incredible. Um, I am so amazed and happy and pleased that the game has done as well as it has. And the feedback has been uh, overall very positive. Uh, we've created a game here that is for a specific set of people who enjoy 
uh, a relaxed version of an RTS game. And, you know, for those who want, they can play it on Impossible and have a less relaxed version of an RTS game. But again, overall, very happy, and I'd like to thank everyone who's bought the game, who's supported it, um, who's put up YouTube videos about their Let's Plays. It's been very great, and especially anyone who streamed it on Twitch has been able to answer questions live. Uh, it's been uh, an honor being able to, to watch your guys' stream, and it's so fun for me to watch other people play my game uh, and be better at it than I am, frankly. Well, I think that's all I have for this little devlog. Again, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below or come into the Discord and, and you can ask me yourself. If you want to know how to get to the Discord, you just go to the main page. You just press main menu, boop. And over here and down the bottom right, the feedbacks or bugs, click on the Discord button and it'll take you over there. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.